Hi, I'm Lauren Wireman, creator of Wildflowers Nails, and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful acrylic nail using our Micro Fantasy Glitter Collection and some regular old nail polish. You can see I've taken all of our micro glitters and mixed them with clear acrylic powder to make our mixtures. For nail polish, I'm going to use a black, a white, and a berry color. And then I'll be using my fabulous silicone tool. First, I'm gonna use the color grape, and I'm gonna show you this on a nail tip, and then I'll move forward and do it on a real nail. I'm taking my color and I'm keeping my brush at 45 degrees. I'm spreading this across the nail. And then there's several ways to get a clean line. Some people prefer to use a cutting tool, which is fine. Other people are able to just use their brush and bump the acrylic into place to give it a nice little shelf and a line. And sometimes I find that it's really easy to get a clean line by using my silicone tool. You can see this little ledge that I'm talking about. We want to literally create a ledge. Now you want to make sure it's nice and clean in there. And I'll show you how to use the silicone tool. I do like to dip it in the acrylic powder so that it doesn't stick to the uncured acrylic. And then I'm going to go ahead and bump that and I'll grab my next color. This color is called chiffon. It's a beautiful blue color. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna apply this across the nail and then I'm gonna use the same technique. I'm gonna use the edge of my brush and sort of position this into place right where I want it. And you don't necessarily have to do this design with clean lines. I think it looks really beautiful with clean lines, but it's not necessary. You could leave your lines sort of wibble wobbly for a more organic look. The most important thing is making sure that you have the acrylic built up high enough to make like a little bit of a wall. You don't need to make a giant wall to have to file down later, but you definitely want to have the definition in between your colors. If you leave the acrylic too low, um, you might get another color on top of it. And then when you go to file it, you're gonna have dips and all kinds of trouble. So make sure you have a significant amount of acrylic on there. But you can see I'm taking my brush and I'm holding my brush parallel to the surface that I'm working on to press this out. This is kind of like that zone two where we have the apex. So you wanna have your brush flat. Now I'm gonna take the color Firefly and I'm gonna work this color down towards the free edge of the nail. Again, I'm gonna first spread it, and I use the flags of my brush sometimes, which is the very tippity tip, just to kind of press things into place. And then I can go through and use the side of my brush and kind of bump that acrylic into place. I can also use my silicone tools if I find that it's easier. But at this point, I'm keeping my brush down at a 45 degree angle and patting that acrylic. That way it'll be easier for me to file. And so here I'm taking my silicone tool and just tightening up my little edge. I'm just gonna smooth that one little part down. And there we go. So here comes the fun. I'm gonna let that acrylic set for just a couple minutes and then I'm gonna take my black nail polish. I'm using Creative Play and I'm literally going to just kind of blob this across where the acrylic ends and my nail surface begins. So you can see it's going to be up on top of the acrylic and here's the berry color and it's gonna be down below sort of in that trench. I'm gonna do one more color and I'm gonna use white. What's so cool about these glitters is that they're transparent. They don't file like silver, so you can literally just file them without encapsulating. And I can take my acrylic brush with a little monomer and you'll see I can scrub away anywhere that I don't want the polish. Just make sure that you clean your acrylic brush like on your table towel before you put it back in your monomer. So now after that dries, and it only takes about five minutes, I'm going to use some of my other colors. So this one's called Coral, and I'm gonna fill in these like trenches that I've created. 
Now when I turn this one to the side, I still see that it's still a little bit low. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more. And this is gonna level up my nail. I don't want like a big lumpy bumpy nail with all kind of humps and bumps. So as I fill these in, this one's called candy. As I fill these in, I, it's, it's actually leveling out my nail. It's gonna make this really easy to file. So again, I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more product and it's okay if my product goes on top of the acrylic that's already there on top of the nail polish a little bit because it's going to file right off and I'm going to have nice clean lines. And I have one more little spot to fill in down at the bottom. And so I'm going to grab my grape color, fill in that little spot. And I'm just using my brush at the same angle I would if I was doing a regular enhancement. I'm keeping it down at 45, that way it's easy to file. So you can see, it's not lumpy bumpy, it's actually a pretty smooth nail. So now I'm gonna go ahead and begin to file. And I'm gonna fast forward through this so that you all don't have to sit here and watch me file a nail with my electric file. So I'm just taking the surface off first and then I'm just gonna refine it a little bit with a hand file. And then I will apply my tack-free top coat. And you can see what's cool is like, because those glitters are transparent, you can see that nail polish through it and it actually changes the glitter color. Like it's really cool. I love this technique. It also leaves a super fine little line between colors. Okay, so now let me do this on a real person and you can see what it really looks like. And I'm just gonna kinda go through this quickly because you just saw how to do it. So I apply my grape color, I bump it into place, I'm gonna grab my next color. I'm gonna apply that down the nail diagonally. I'm gonna use my brush to sort of bump it into the shape that I want. And if I need further refining, I can pick up my silicone tool and make sure that I have a really clean line. Sometimes if I see a little dip or a low spot, I can add a little bit of acrylic just to fill that in because it makes it easier for me to file. Last, I'll use our color called Firefly. I'm gonna spread that with my brush. I'm gonna use the edge of my brush to bump it into place a little bit and then my silicone tool. I wanna have nice clean lines and nice clear trenches to be able to fill in. So there's that part, now it's time to add the nail polish. So I'm gonna start with my black and it's okay if it gets a little messy. Fill in my black and then I'll grab my berry color. I come in there with my berry color. And you don't need to like cover the whole trench area with nail polish by any means. Um, you can leave open spots, you can do just a little bit of polish, and you can use any colors that you want. I just love the detail of the really fine line that it that it leaves. I've filled in two of my trenches, I'm just filling in my third one, and you can see my nail is pretty level. I have one little like humpy spot at the very beginning where that purple was that I first applied but otherwise it's a pretty smooth nail, so this should be nice and easy to file. So here we go. The first thing I file off is my little hump at the beginning, and then I just work through the nail like I would any other nail. And you can see those beautiful, thin little lines emerging. I'm gonna refine a little bit with my hand file and then I'm ready for my top coat. I think my favorite part is the coral color and the definition on the edges of it. I just, I just love this. I love the way it looks. One of my favorite nails. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try it, and if you try it, please tag me. Look how cool the underneath looks. Bye, guys.